Hi, my name is Stefan. Um, I'm going to be your nurse today. Uh, it says here we have a cranial nerve assessment. Um, at this point, I would close the curtain, provide privacy. I would then wash my hands. Um, and I, can, you, can you tell me your name and date of birth, please? Ma'am, 718 Okay, I check the uh, wristband. Name matches, date of birth matches, and the medical administration uh, number matches. Um, do you have any allergies? No. Are you in pain? No. Okay, and then is there any cultural considerations I need to be aware of today? Yes. No. Okay, perfect. Uh, so we're ready to start the cranial assessment, um, cranial nerve assessment, excuse me. Uh, so I ask you to close your eyes, please, and look ahead, and tell me what this one looks like. No. Okay, you can open your eyes. Cranial nerve one, the olfactory is intact. Um, next, I'm going to do is cranial nerve two. Uh, so first I'm going to do the periphery test. Uh, can you please stand up? Okay. And close your right eye. I'll close my left. And I'm going to ask you to tell me what numbers you see. Three. Okay. One. Okay. And then your other eye, please. Two. Okay. One. Okay. Let's sit down, please. Um, nerve is in the uh, cranial nerve two. Excuse me. Um, the optic nerve is intact. Uh, at this point I would do a Snellen chart test and have the patient read with one eye occluded, the other eye occluded, and then both eyes um, from the vision acuity test. Uh, the next I'm going to do three together is the ocular, cranial nerve three, the ocular motor, cranial nerve four, the uh, trochial motor, and cranial nerve six, six, abducens. Um, so first I'm going to do the uh, six cardinal fields of vision. Okay, so I ask you to look forward please and just follow the coming of your eyes. Okay. Um, follow the six cardinal fields of vision, no uh, random eye movement, um, anything like that. Next, I will do. I will turn off the lights, and I'm going to do, check the, um, the protrusion of the pupils. So I'll turn off the lights, and I'll let the patient look forward. Check the left eye first, constricted, right eye, constricted. Uh, pupils are three millimeters, one millimeter upon constriction. Um, and then next I'm going to check is accommodation. Uh, so I'm 12 to 14 inches from the patient's face. I actually look forward, please. Uh, I'm going to check accommodation. So just follow the pen with your eyes. Okay. Uh, patient's eyes are equal, or pupils are equal, round, reactive to light, and accommodated. Uh, so we have Perla. Uh, the next is cranial nerve 5, the trigeminal nerve I'm going to check, which I need you to clench your teeth, please. Okay. And I'm going to check the mass photo and the temporal muscles. Um, they're both active and um, no abnormal, no abnormalities in it. Uh, so next is cranial nerve seven. I'm gonna check, which is the facial nerve. Can I get you a smile? Frown? Puff your cheeks? Okay. Thank you. Uh, cranial nerve seven. The facial nerve is intact. Uh, number eight is the vestibular uh, cochlea. So I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna close one of your ears and I'm gonna whisper two words. Can you please repeat the words back to me? And the other ear? Okay. Uh, patient got both words correct, therefore uh, the nerve is intact. There's no excessive screaming or anything like that in the outside of the ear. Uh, next is the glossial pharyngeal. Um, so I would ask the patient to open their mouth um, and then open their mouth and then uh, elicit a gag reflex. Gag reflex is elicited, therefore uh, the cranial nerve is intact. Then we have 10, which is the vagus nerve. Um, vagus nerve is obviously intact because the patient uh, is able to talk and swallow. Um, so that is intact. We go straight to 11, which is the accessory nerve. Uh, for the accessory nerve, I'd ask you to move your head side to side, up and down. And then ask you to show your shoulder for me. Okay, the patient can do all three, therefore the cranial nerve, or the accessory nerve, cranial nerve 11 is intact. And finally is cranial nerve 12, which is the hypoglossial. I should stick out your tongue, move it side to side, and up and down. Okay. Uh, patient was able to complete both, um, so cranial nerve 12 is also intact. Um, at this point, my assessment is completed. Um, all nerves are intact, and there's no um, there's no um, abnormalities within the patient's uh, cranial nerves. So at this point, um, is there anything else you need from me today? Okay. I would lower the bed to the lowest level. Call bail and reach. I would wash my hands, open the curtain, and I would document.